When we look at what is a Muslim, yeah. most people are under this misconception that a Muslim is like uh, somebody after the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, or like an Arab or something. But that's not what a Muslim is. By definition, anybody who submits themselves to their creator, is, in Arabic it's called Aslama. To submit, then you become a Muslim. Sure. Right? So if you look at Abraham or Moses or Jesus, all of them, they did the work of their creator. They did the work of their Lord. They submitted themselves to their creator. So they were all Muslim. Like we believe in the same religion they believed in. Yeah. The problem got to be, as I mean, you look like you're well read, uh, people corrupted their message later. Yeah. So they made, like, like look at Jesus, right? Jesus, in the Bible, he prayed, falling head down, putting his head on the ground. Right? But most churches, if you've ever been to, have you seen anybody pray with their head down? Oh, no. Right. right? You see them like singing or dancing or, oh, you know, but not the way Jesus prayed. Right? How did Jesus dress? How did Jesus look? You look at a priest today or a minister, they don't look like Jesus. <laughs> they don't emulate him in his appearance. They don't emulate him in his way of prayer. Right? If you look at uh, how Jesus lived a kosher lifestyle, Right? Most Christians don't keep to the kosher laws anymore. Jesus was circumcised. These people are not circumcised. Why? Because they took that religion and then they infused brother. They infused paganism into it. Right? Like think about this. Especially for Catholicism, man. Yeah. Like what? For Catholicism. It's Catholicism, very, very true. I mean like, if you go to most like, what's the first commandment? Listen, O Israel, your Lord is one. Yeah. Right? What's the second commandment? Don't worship idols. Don't worship false deities, right? You go to any Catholic church, especially Catholic church, mm -hmm. what's the first thing you see? All the saints. Saints, yeah. statues. I was see, you're, you're on there, you're, you're up there. That's why I, I like I open minded I'm people. Part of the big three, you know. It's not right. Islamic, Jewish, or Christian. But. Excellent. So, so, but you believe in God, right? Uh, a creator. A creator, that's yeah. it. So, we don't believe, take anything you like, it's all free. You have a Quran? I don't. You I do now. Love, love there you go, man. That's very cool. Did you, are you going to share or do you want one of yeah, your own? Yeah, we'll share. All right. If you want one, it's all free. We don't... That's no, okay. All right. So think about this, right? You do believe in a creator. We believe in a creator. That creator is not going to be a man. It's not going to be a monkey. Like, it's not going to be a cow. Like, like, like you know, it's going to be something greater than that, right? Yeah. A creator created all of this, these mount, mountains, trees, grass, skies, universes. Who knows how many other alien beings are there? Like, we don't know, right? We don't know what else is out there, but that creator would be greater than all of that. Yeah. It's not somebody you can put up on a cross and like stab at him and stuff, yeah. right? <laughs> like, like, think it through. That's what the Gnostics said, right? Right, like, right. Jesus so, wasn't, you exactly. know, uh, Gnostics, human, so to speak. The Gnostics had their own deeper thought into, and I studied yeah. the Gnostic strand of Christianity, right? Mm -hmm. Where they felt they knew of an inner meaning and things, right? Yeah. And that's, that's interesting, yeah. but the problem gets to be, whether you're agnostic or Gnostic, if you're following the Christian doctrine, you're still going back to the Bible. Whether you take a meaning out of it, like the Gnostics did, of a hidden meaning, or the apparent, like most Christians and Catholics and so on, but the problem is that that Bible is corrupted. Right? It's got clear contradictions. Yeah. Yeah. It's got things that, that you know, really don't... Missing books. They're, they're missing books. Yeah. Even the books that we have, as you, I can tell, know, were in Kone Greek, way after Jesus. These are not the actual disciples sitting and writing. If you read Peter, most of the disciples were illiterate. Right? They couldn't yeah. read or write. They were fishermen. They were Aramaic-speaking fishermen. Uh, you know, some of them, Matthew, for example, he could probably read and write, but he didn't author. This is the gospel according to Matthew, mm -hmm. which was written and you can look it up online, you can read Dr. Bart Ehrman or whatever. These were written by anonymous authors, right? So let me give you an example. This is my Bible. As you can tell, I've read it a lot, right? <laughs> so if you look at the genealogy of Jesus, right? Sure. This is in Matthew. And you can, if you want, take a picture or something. I mean, so you can look it up at home. It's not like I doctored this myself or something, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> so <laughs> under Matthew, this is the King James Version, chapter 1, verse 16. You will say, and Jacob begotten Joseph. So Joseph was the son of? Jacob. Jacob. Sure. Joseph, the husband of Mary, whom was born Jesus, who was known as Christ. So Jesus here being at least attributed to Joseph and Joseph being the son of Jacob. Very clear. And you can go up all the way up the chain, right? Now, in the same Bible, if you go under Luke, right? 
Luke 3, 23 through 38 is the genealogy of Jesus, right? Now this is according to Luke, right? The first one is according to Matthew. Here you have, now Jesus himself began his ministry at the age of 30 years of age, beginning, being, and an apprentice as they put, as opposed, the son of Joseph, the son of Heli. So who's the father of Joseph here? Heli. Yeah, yeah. When earlier it was Jacob, mm -hmm. right? So what I did is I did a writing compared side by side, right? So I wrote out both accounts. So this is according to Matthew, starts with Jesus, goes all the way back to Abraham. And this is according to Luke, starts with Jesus, goes all the way back to Abraham. If you read the names, and I just wrote it out side by side, you can read it in the Bible, right? Mm -hmm. You will find that all the way to David, they're totally different. Not only are they, and it's not like somebody had two names, like, you know, Christians always come with like the most funny thing, like, oh, one of them is the genealogy of Mary. No, no, it's his begotten and son of, which neither one would be for Mary, right? They're yeah. for Joseph, very clearly, right? Now, here, Joseph is the son of Jacob, son of Matan, son of Elazar, son of Elud. So it's not like one person had two names either, right? Here, Jesus, son of Joseph, son of Heli, son of Matat, son of Levi, son of Milchi. Okay. Totally different, different names, yeah. right? Not just that, look at the numbers. Between Abraham and Jesus, you have 43 here. Yeah, it looks Between like 56 Abraham and 56, man, yeah. see? See, see, go ahead. Yeah, and take a picture of the actual verse, you can, you know. We do have a, we do have a Bible actually, yeah. Excellent. When you go home, take a look at it. We'll do. Right? And then I'll show you in, uh, this is in Luke. How'd you get a pink uh, power? I don't know. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is, and again, I mean, I have literally 50 contradictions laid out in my Bible at home, right? Yeah. But let me show you another example where I think the Bible has been corrupted for political and so on gain, right? Look at this. This is in the Old Testament. But again, according to Christians, it's the same God, same Jesus was a part of the one who sent the Old Testament, right? In Exodus 21, 20, 20, verse 20, 22, 21, right? And if a man beats his male or female servant with a rod so that he may die under his hand, he shall surely be punished. Notwithstanding, if he remains alive a day or two, he shall not be punished for he is his property. Mm -hmm. Come on, that is disgusting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you beat a slave or a servant half to death, so he dies a day later, you're not punished because that human being is your property. You can beat him to death. Yeah, as long as he lives a day. <laughs> you want a picture of that one too? <laughs> yeah. So I mean, when you talk about Christ and love and all this stuff, this is a lot of people don't actually read the Bible. That's the problem, right? I feel like my mom has read the whole thing though, and she doesn't have any problem with it. Bring this verse to her and ask her, how does she not have it? Let me give you another one. Just, right? For example, whether temporarily or. I have too many. <laughs> Please take it. Take it, take it, take it. It's all free. This is 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 3. It says, Now go and attack Amulek and utterly destroy all that they have. And do not spare them, but kill both man and woman, infant and nursing child, ox and sheep, camel and donkey. Completely erotic here, right? It's off the face of the planet. <laughs> Infant nursing children, not one child, not some particular child, not some... Just every one of them. Eh, genocide, Yeah. right? Absolutely. I'm sure Hitler liked that verse. <laughs> well, thank you very much for showing us. No uh, problem. Just out of curiosity, yeah, no problem. what made you decide to start doing this? Uh, we, we come out here just to share the message of Islam, right? Yeah. Like I was raised... Uh, going to church and stuff, right? And I, I, that's why that's why you look at my Bible because I was raised going to church, you, Bible studies on Wednesdays and Saturdays, twice a week, right? And reading through the Bible and talking to priests, I realized this is not the Word of God, yeah. right? So the you're whole, just kind of trying to help everybody. Right, so the, what, what, when I became a Muslim, when I chose to be a Muslim, 
then I decided that I want to open up lines of communication with people like yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Because if I don't, what's the, what are you going to do? Watch Fox News and learn about <laughs> Islam, right? Yeah. Like that, that's not really a good source, yeah, yeah. To, right? Bad right? So I'd rather come out here and have these kind of conversations, give out free. We put our own money together. We buy this. We don't try to get you to sign up for anything. Mm -hmm. We don't want anything from you. Mm -hmm. Just so you can at least have an understanding about each other and Hopefully, if you read that message and if you like it, we don't force anybody, but it might guide you towards something like you said, you believe in a creator already, right? Yeah. But the whole idea of this, the church and the Pope and uh, yeah, all these preachers and rabbis and their own interpretations, it's off-putting and for me too, right? But Islam is a very spiritual religion. It's a re religion that, yeah, like if you want to confess in Islam, you don't go to some child molester in a, in a, in a, in a, in a box and tell him, you know, forgive me father for I have sinned and he's like, tell me about it in detail. Right? <laughs> no, instead you, you, you repent to God yourself. Like you go and pray on your own. You wake up at night, nobody sees you. You raise your hands, you pray and God will forgive you, yeah. right? Like, so that's a beautiful message, right? So we'd love to share that message, right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, very, uh, that's it. Yeah. Excellent. Have a great day. Thank you.